Hey everybody, in this video we're going to go over AD Certificate Services and setting up a certificate server in a Windows environment. So up here in this area we have a AD server. Let's open that up. So we've got a, do a domain already set up. It's the, let's look at it. We'll go to Active Directory Users and Computers. Let's do that. All right, so it's the chriseve.lab environment. And these two Windows 2019 servers are not domain joined right now. The root CA will not be domain joined and should not be because it's going to be the offline. It's going to hold the root CA, basically the, it's going to hold everything in the environment. And we're going to turn that one off once we have this all set up and that's for security reasons. And that's why this is the best practice from Microsoft for setting up a enterprise CA. All right, so let's get started. What we'll do first is we'll go on to this one. This will be the root. So 2019-001, that's going to be the root. So let's open that one up. And the name of the server, let's just go here. So it's just, I just named it CA root. It's in a work group. So nothing really set up. Has a Ethernet address of 10.170.10.101. Um, this is where we want to be. We want to be in server manager. We're going to go to manage. We go to dashboard. Go to add roles and features. We can do this. And let's continue. Let's open this up. Go next. 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 Until we get to server roles. And here you can see Active Directory Certificate Services. All right, so that's what we want to select. Everything there looks good. We'll have the management tools. Let's add that feature. Next. 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 And in this, in the role services, we just want certification authority selected. We don't need to do anything else right now. And next. And we'll install this. Let's just make sure that we have everything. Okay, looks good. Let's install. All right, let's, uh, I'll pause the video while we wait for this to complete. Okay, installation has completed. We'll close that. And now up here, you see this notification. We can configure Active Directory Certificate Services on our server. Let's do that. All right. Now we have, we're going to enter our credentials. So we're going to configure Certification Authority. That's what we want to do. And in the next one, so if this was joined to a domain, which it's not right now and won't be, we could select Enterprise CA. So that's what this other member will be. The subordinate certificate server will be a Enterprise CA. 
And that makes it easier to give out certificates for dot one X or for wireless for, for things like that. Um, but right now this, this is the root CA. It will be offline. So we'll click next. It's a root CA. That's right. That's what we want. Next. We want to create a new private key for this because we don't have one, obviously. And let's see, what do we want to select here? We're going to do SHA-256 for this. Key length, that's that should be fine. And next. All right. So this is the common name for the CA. So let's let's come up with something. So this is the Chris Eve dot lab. So what we'll do is we'll call this the Chris Eve Chris Eve root authority. Let's put that make let's make that capital. Just look a little bit better. All right, next, we'll click next. We can select how long this will be valid. Let's just do, we'll do 20 years for this. Looks good. We'll leave these the same. We're not going to change these. We just have a C drive on here, I believe. So that's fine. And here is the summary of what we're doing. So standalone root, right? Not domain joined. And 20 year SHA-256. 2048 key length that should be that should be good so let's uh configure this so there we go and that's it so now it's configured and we have our root certificate authority So let's open that up. So if we go to Certificate Authority, here it is. So, and if we right click this, go to Properties, Maybe that will come up. There we go. So that took a little, little longer. Um, so here we can see Chris Eve root authority properties. And we can see that this is the Chris Eve root authority. We can also see the certificate right here. Let's view that certificate. Details and cer certification path. So that looks good. Okay, so everything there looks good. All right, so let's take a look at extensions under here. So what we want to look at here is the CRL distribution point called the CDP. This is the certificate revocation list. And since this will be offline, this 
it can't obviously publish CRLs to this location. It's going to be offline. So we don't want these necessarily all to be here. So what we'll do is we're going to get rid of some of this. We'll leave the window system cert and roll. That's fine. That's a default. We'll leave that file. But as far as the rest, we're going to have to do some work to clean this up. So let's, let's take a look. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to clear this, remove that, remove this file. And what we'll do is let's, can we edit these? Let's see if we can edit this. Okay. So we can't edit them. Let's add one first. So the location is going to be HTTP and this is going to be on the intermediate. So we're going to use the intermediate as our certificate revocation list website. So that's, that's how we're going to do this it's because this one will be offline. The revocation list has to be somewhere that's online. So what we'll do is we'll use this. So let's take a look at what we, let's reconnect to this. And we'll take a look at the name of this server. Now, probably the best way to do this is to set up DNS. So maybe we can go through that. So that we don't have to change it in the future. So yeah, let's, let's do that. So let's go in here. So we'll call this the certificate. Why don't we just call this CRL? So that, that's going to be the website. And what we'll do is we'll point CRL to this server, to this server name. I think that makes the most sense because we're going to, we may have to change this in the future. We may want to load balance it. We may want to do something like that. So cert enroll and CA name, CRL name, suffix. So we're going to use these variables in here. Okay. We're going to pick include, we're going to say, okay to that. We're going to get rid of this one. Okay. Let's go to this one, the one we just created. And we will select include in CRLs. Clients use this to find Delta CRL. Include in the CDP extension. So we have to have both of those checked. All right, so what we'll do is we're going to click OK. We'll apply that. We'll say yes. It's going to restart certificate services, which is fine. And now we have to go into the, we also have to do the authority information access, the AIA. So very similar to what we just did. We'll get rid of these. Oh, 
Okay, so we removed all of those. We're going to add one. And again, let's just use the same thing. We'll use that DNS. So HTTP CRL. Cert enroll. CA name, then certificate name dot CRT. Okay. There we go. You can also use these variables just to insert those when you're typing them in. It makes it a little bit easier. I just type them. And click OK. And we want to make sure that we include this in issued certificates. The AIA Authority Information Access extension. OK. So let's just double check all this once we have the restart. So we know that we're going to have to go into DNS. And we'll set up CRL real quick. So let's go into AD forward lookup zones. We have chriseve.lab. And we will add a new host. Actually, we'll, see, we'll add a new C name. So this will be CRL. And what this is going to point to is the name of that server. So we're on the AD server. We want it to point to this server. Let's look at the name. Local server CA dash sub. So CA dash sub dot eve lab dot dot sorry dot Chris Eve dot lab. Okay. So that's set up. So we have an alias in here that points to that. All right, so let's just double check our settings, make sure there was no typos or anything like that. So we go back into properties, wait for that to open. Okay, let's go back to extensions. Let's check this, CRL, start and roll. That looks good. We have those checked. And then we look at the authority information access. Let's double check this. Perfect. Okay. So everything looks good there. We've created the root CA on this box, which is named I think it's root CA. Let's double check that. CA root, CA dash root. We've created a CRL alias that points to CA sub. So our subordinate server that's going to actually give out certificates. Okay, so that's the first step in creating a certificate server. This will be our offline server. So in the next videos, we'll continue with the creation of the certificate services in Active Directory. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope it's been helpful.